Hi everyone, it's Neith here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with distress crayons and creating a really simple page um, using a big focal image. So I'm working in my craft journal. This is obviously a used up page. I painted some page, um, paint on it on a previous page and I decided I wanted to cover it over. So I went in with some mineral and some marine just to mix the colours together to get this sort of um, backgroundy look. And I had an idea that I wanted to use these sort of blues and pink colours. It's sort of a colour scheme that I'm using a lot of at the moment, which I'm quite liking. So I'm going in and creating a background for my image. Now I had already got the image I wanted to use for this um, project. Um, it was an image drawn by an Australian artist, Lucy Campanau, um, which is from Mixed Media and Beyond, I think, on Facebook. Um, Facebook um, she does lots of stuff and um, she put out a challenge that she had this image and she wanted to see what people could do with it so I printed it out and I used it in this project um, if I can find it I will put a link up to it in my um, description box below and um, to see if we can share it so once I had done my background I did a bit of a ghosting technique with a stencil um, then I decided that I needed to put a floor in because obviously I am working with um, an image that was a person sitting on a chair. So I used the same ghosting technique to put a bit of a carpet or floor in, so to speak, so I got, got a little bit of perspective. At the top of the page, I didn't want to leave the craft, so I put some of the pink on the top just to sort of give it a bit of um, a contrast. Then I decided to do the ghosting over the top. So what will happen is I'll have some of that pink um, peeping through and then some of the blue and I've still got the um, same color so you get this sort of contrast even though I've kind of used the same colors it sort of all plays together so once I've done that I'm just sticking in my image now this was just printed out I've got a laser printer at home um, it was just printed out normal copy paper which is fine you know if I was coloring in with color pencils if I was doing watercolors it would be a bit dicey um, Obviously I could use acrylic paints over the top if I wanted to redraw sort of over it, but I decided I'd um, break out my distress crayons. Now, I don't use my distress crayons very often, I do have to say. They are beautiful to use, they're really soft and creamy. Um, I do get a lot of questions asking me, oh, you know, do you use gelatos or can you use gelatos? I don't have any, I ne I've never used them. I presume from things I've heard, they're pretty similar. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so for those of you who are about to ask me in the comments, um, could you use gelatos instead? I presume so, um, but I don't actually have some, so I really can't give you any advice on that. The black ones you can see me using are the Jane Davenport version of the Distress Crayons. I can't remember what they're called, um, but pretty much the same. They're um, creamy, they're like lipsticks, they're smudgeable, so you can see I've got my finger in there, smudging it out. Um, they layer over each other really well. They are a water reactive um, product as well, so um, just be aware of that. Um, you can do them to colour in, but because I wanted a fairly solid colour, I um, just play, layered them on quite, not quite thickly. You can still see through it, still translucent, but um, enough that I could sort of blend. But this is what I really like about them. So you saw me put down my base colour first, and now I'm going over with some darker colours and shading. Now, a great thing about using a stamped image or a drawn image like this is where the darker lines or where the artist has already put in the shading gives you a pretty good idea of where you need to put in the shading. So you can um, add in a little bit of depth of colour. So you can see I've just done my um, base colours first and then I'm going over with the darker colours to blend it in. The reason I've put a base colour down first is because particularly with creamy media like this or even with oil pastels if you're using those, you do need to have the surface that it will grip onto um, so you can blend it easily. So oil pastels, um, which are a bit harder than this, are really hard to blend if you just put them onto the paper first of all, but if you put a few, few colours or a few um, coats on top of each other, they become much easier to blend together. Um, so it's always good to, to have a go. Once I got into the shading, I didn't have all the colours I needed, so I got out my Stabilo Woodies, which again are a sort of a creamy pencil. So it's a little bit harder than the Distress Crayons, um, but it's still blendable. 
them. And because they're all water-based as well, um, you get away with it a little bit. You did notice um, up on top near her neck, I got a little bit heavy-handed and blended in some colours I didn't want to have there. So I just got a wet wipe and wiped it away. Um, I find with that I've got a little bit more um, control than sort of getting my water brush out um, to wipe away anything that I need to. Finally, to give a bit of a um, shadow around my um, figure, I'm going in with my Stabilo Oil Pencil and just wetting that slightly to give this sort of shadow effect, push it out from the background. When I finished that, I was sort of like, oh, what do I do next? What do I do next? <laughs> and um, I just continued playing for a little bit, um, darkening up where the... Um, the floor is to give it a little bit of perspective to it and I took some time to sort of look and think is it finished is it not you can sort of see me tapping the table there I was really throwing up do I want to put a quote in or do I not um, but I actually quite liked it just the way it was I did in the end decide I was going to put something on um, so I found this little quote which is I think about the simple life I couldn't decide where I was going to put it. I ended up putting it across her dress, which is not a very usual place for me to put a quote, I have to say. Uh, Self-confidence is a superpower, sorry. So that's one of the Dina Wakeley strips. Um, and it's not at a straight angle, which again doesn't usually bother me, but it sort of looked a bit off center. Um, but I think it worked in the end. And I thought particularly the quote, because she does look so self-confident as she's sitting there, kind of worked. So that's how I work with distressed crayons. I hope you have a go. If you've got something similar, have a go at them and just see if they work together. Um, but more layers is better um, when blending is my advice. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.